Hello friends, I have been getting many requests from many youth engineers to talk about the 10 Delta. Yes, 10 Delta. That is a new word for youth engineer. Power factor is very common word and 10 Delta is basically known as the power factor of insulator and most of the engineers deal with the power transformer distribution transformer and in every transformer there is bushing i thought we can talk about the tan delta and that concept can be clearly understood with the help of bushing bushing is a kind of insulator that is enclosing one conductor as depicted in the picture. Around that current carrying conductor that is connected with your transformer to outside connector or terminal is surrounded by insulator. Insulator is like a capacitor. And in capacitor, it is known fact that the voltage lags the current by 90 degree. And for the system load, both are in the face. But no, cap no insulator can be a perfect insulator. The current is not leading the voltage by 90 degree exactly because of some leakage current in the insulator as shown in the picture here and total current is IT that is the vector sum of your IC and IR. Now, Again look at the picture represented in a different manner. If you look at here the angle between capacitive current and the total current is delta. The angle between the total current and the resistive current is phi cos phi or theta cos theta or cos phi if you look at the picture is ratio of IR upon IT and that delta angle that is called a dissipation angle tan delta angle is nothing it is the ratio of IR upon IC. The more leakage current more resistive current is there that will that will give direct impact on the tan delta value as depicted in the equation more resistive current more tan delta and that is the indication of deterioration of your insulation The question arises is what should be the ideal value for tan delta for bushing. To understand that thing you can refer IC 60137 2017 table number 8. The permissible value at the time of testing is 0 0.007 or 0.7 percent. and when you are measuring it at sight and for many utility that value is 0.5% or 0 0.005 and the permissible capacitance variation allowed with respect to the capacitance provided at the time of testing in the lab of manufacture should not vary 
plus minus 3 percent. If you find that variation of plus minus 3 percent, it is recommended to replace your bushing and similarly the variation in the 10 delta at the rate of 0 0.001 per year indicates alarm that needs to be replaced. This was all about ten delta dissipation factor of insulators specifically of your bushing you are coming across in the field. Thank you very much everyone. Keep improvising, keep learning with me. Thank you once again.